What's up friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be super easy, super simple. I made this reverse canvases for my daughter to hang it in her room. It's for Easter, so if you want to see how I made this easy project, keep on watching. So first, and this is pretty obvious, I'm going to start off with three of these 8x10 stretch canvases that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take those, I'm going to obviously open it up, and if you haven't seen this before, if you turn your canvas over, there are staples. So basically I'm going to remove my staples using a flathead screwdriver, and, um, and here this is what I'm going to work with for now. I'm going to work on the canvas, I'm going to take um, these decals, I'm going to show you how you can take these de window decals today and put them on the canvas instead. So I'm taking one sheet of these decals that I just happened to have already around the house, I think it was from last year, but um, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to make these reverse canvases for my daughter for her room but um, one thing you want to make sure that your stickers fit inside the little square so that way it's for sure to fit on these canvases because these are 8 by 10 canvases at Dollar Tree so you want to make sure your stickers fit on there first before getting right into it so that's step one now i'm going to take this turquoise paint and i believe the other one is going to be grass green um and i'm going to start painting my canvas i think this project is super fun to make and it's super simple and you can go for any style any look you want you can have a farmhouse if you like um but for me i'm just making it something fun for my daughter so basically what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to make the grass for the bunny and the turquoise is going to be for the sky so i'm going to basically split my canvas in half half green and half turquoise before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point, this is the place for you. So definitely don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And by the way, my next DIY is going to be a cute organizer, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Now I'm going to set that aside and while that's drying, I'm going to go in with the wood uh, for the canvas, the frame, and I have these furniture markers from Dollar Tree. They do come in three colors, walnut, mahogany, and I think the last one is black. Yes, it's black. But for this project, I'm going to go in and um, color in my frame with the walnut marker. You could use paint if you'd like, but this is perfect because it looks like the wood is stained not painted and um, it's pretty quick and easy to use and it dries pretty fast so this is perfect. So basically I'm going to go in with the walnut marker and I'm going to go in one direction just small strokes and I'm going to paint the entire thing. I'm not going to necessarily worry about the back where we remove those staples because um, that's going to be the back and that's where I'll be gluing my canvas later on but I will be going around the top the, um, the bottom part of the frame and the inner part of the frame. Now that my canvas is dry, I can go in with Mod Podge. That's how I'm going to get my stickers or window decals to stay on there. So I'm going to get my sticker, I'm basically going to turn it over, and I'm going to apply Mod Podge all over the back of the decal, and like I said, that's how it's going to stay on there. Now that I'm done applying the Mod Podge onto the back, I'm going to take my decal now and put it onto the canvas. And now you just want to make sure and um, press it down. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little butterfly and decorate a little more. So I'm going to add a few more stickers and I'll be right back. Okay friends, I would like to also point out, because I forgot to mention this in the beginning, that we are working just in a little rectangle area in the middle of the canvas. I'm not worrying about the edges, so that's why I didn't paint the edges, but what you can do is put your frame down before putting your stickers and maybe draw a line around the area you need to stay in the middle of. So that's an idea, but I think this is so cute, so I love it. 
while my sister is taking out the other staples because <laughs> this was a nightmare to get those staples off. She's working on that. I'm going to apply another Mod Podge over my decal here that you see here. So I'm going to apply another coat just to seal it onto the canvas and make sure it's not moving or going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while she's getting my other canvas ready back there. And she definitely deserves a shout out. So thank you, sister. <laughs> now here is canvas number two. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Bring out the frame and I'm going to color it in with my furniture marker. I'm going to have my niece do that. <laughs> They're over at my house because we're supposed to um, stay home. So they just came over to help me with this project, but Basically, I'm doing the same thing for this canvas. I'm going to do half turquoise and half green and let that dry. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to start on my canvas number three. For this one, I wanted to do something a little different, so I'm taking this piece of twine and some stickers. Here they're green, I didn't want them green, so I went in with the black furniture marker and just colored them in and they're perfectly fine. So you can color stickers from Dollar Tree any color you'd like and that works too. So um, I went ahead and did that and I wrote Happy Easter on my canvas, covered it up with Mod Podge so that way it's nicely sealed and it doesn't go anywhere. Same idea as the other stickers. So you want to seal these stickers as well. Now I'm going to take my um, my canvas, flip it over to the side that had the staples, and I'm going to glue my strand of twine using my hot glue gun. I'm just basically going to glue it right across the top of the canvas frame. And here I'm cutting off the extra pieces of twine. This part, you guys, it is optional. You can just keep on going with the third canvas and make something with your decal. But like I said, I did want to try something a little different. Now I'm just going to flip my frame over and this is how it's going to look. And I'm going to take small, the mini cloth pens from Dollar Tree, the really, really tiny ones. <laughs> I'm going to take two of those and I'm going to hang carrots from them. Um, and on the side of that, I'm going to glue on, not glue on, like apply Mod Podge and do the same process, but add flowers next to Happy Easter. Again, this part is optional. You can do your third canvas um, with more decals and just paint it. You don't have to do the carrots. So, I mean, I'm just showing you the idea that you can make your own um, canvases at home, your reverse canvases, and do it using decals. Uh, so I'm just showing you the idea, but definitely, Make it your own, make it fit your style. And here I'm just doing my third one after it dried. I'm just adding more of those um, teddy bear bunnies stickers. And I'm making it for my daughter. So it's definitely something fun, something for her. Um, so I wanted to make it exciting. And that's why I'm using these little kid stickers. Now I'm going to go in with um, the hot glue gun and glue down my frame and then cut off the extra pieces of canvas around. And that's pretty much it. I'm doing the same thing for all three of them with my hot glue gun and I'm done. Just kidding, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so they look adorable, you guys, but I'm going to hang them using this rope from Dollar Tree. If you don't want the rope or you don't have it or you just don't like the look of the rope, you could also have these put on the wall with push pins since they're very lightweight or you could also have them up on the wall with uh, command strips. So I mean, since they're lightweight, it's very forgiving. You can use anything and it will hold them up. But here I would like to attach the three of them together using rope. So basically I'm cutting a small strand and I'm making sure that um, they're the same size. I'm going to use four of the small ones and I'm going to use one long piece of rope for the top frame. And as soon as I have all of those ready, I'm going to go in with my hot glue gun and glue the rope onto the frame, just like you see here. And here it is, it's 
finished. I have it on my wall. I feel like there's something missing next to it. I need flowers or something, but I will be actually moving this into my daughter's room. I just have it here for lighting, but I think this project turned out super cute, you guys, and it didn't cost that much to make. So, um, it's definitely a great idea. You got to try it and let me know what you think down in the comments below. You know, I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs and make sure to share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.